Let's talk about the top three most bullish things that could happen to Bitcoin the rest of this year that will catapult us to 100K. It will also make your altcoins go berserk, bananas, turn you into that rich, awesome person that you've always wanted to be. All right, let's get started. Guys, this is my Twitter. I just want to really stop for a second and just say thank you and, and just tell my mom that I love her because I'm at 5,000 followers on Twitter at Caleb if you want the best information about the crypto verse uh yeah it's pretty good i'm pretty awesome on twitter i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty amazing um the channel's going great love you guys i'm actually selling my cyber kong though i know I, if you can see i'm shedding a real tear here <laughs> ah! i love my kong he's literally the face of this whole channel but i'm selling him for 94.9 ethereum which is the floor price for these gen kongs by the way because I want to buy more altcoins. Altcoins are about to go insane, and I'll show you a little bit more of that in this video. But let's talk about Bitcoin. So we got the first buy signal on the Lux Algo in a long time on the one hourly chart. This is on autopilot settings. The Lux Algo is pretty much the algorithm I trust the most to predict the direction of the Bitcoin price. And as you can see right here, this big juicy buy signal, yes! Last time this happened was all the way over here. Oh my gosh, where is it? I'm never gonna be able to find it. Oh my gosh, it's all the way up here. Let me, let me go all the way back here. Oh my gosh, it's right here. You see this? It's a little bit messy, but the last time we got an actual buy signal on a Lux Algo right here, it went whoop! It went from $45,000 all the way up to uh, $49,000 before even coming down a little bit, and it ended up going as high as $49,000, yeah. so. Definitely upward price move it expected in the next couple days. It's going to be a fun week. I'm really excited. We also have a similar thing on the daily chart on the Lambda indicator. Now, the crypto portfolio, the altcoin portfolio that I've been telling you guys about that I am publicly just making available here. I haven't sold anything. Everything is the exact same. It's, you know, it's okay. It's been kind of up and down the last few days. Here is that portfolio. It's pinned to my Twitter as well if you want to check it out. And there's also a video here that explains all of that. Where Which one is it? Uh... What the hell? It's on here somewhere. Do I have more than six videos? Oh my gosh! Look how many videos I have! Uh, it's it's this one right here. My entire 10x altcoin portfolio, okay? So check that out if you want to know what the hell to buy after watching this and knowing that Bitcoin is going to go juicy mm, to 100k. Let's go! So what are the three things, the three events that I don't think people are taking into account? Everyone's like, oh, China, Bitcoin, oh, Oh my gosh, the Federal Reserve is going to just kill Bitcoin. Everything's, everything is bad, 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 bad. Have you guys noticed that all the bad news comes in waves? Have you guys noticed that the bad news is just all at once and then all the good news is all at once? Why is that? It's because the billionaires control the news stations. Okay, so here's what I think is going to happen. I think all of the FUD, all of the bad news is getting out of our system in September. And then it's all going to be up, 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 up after this. And here are the three events that I think could trigger this, okay? These are the, my most favorite bullish events. Here we go. Number one. So, you capitulated in September right before the Bitcoin ETF. <laughs> that's you! <laughs> yeah, that's what you're going to look like if you, uh, if, you, if you sell your Bitcoin. Because what if there is a Bitcoin ETF in October? And the more that I see idiots like this guy, this is a known scammer idiot channel. Bloomberg analysts are saying that Bitcoin will hit 100K next month after the Bitcoin ETF is approved. I literally eat an entire jar of mayonnaise on live stream if that actually happens. You know, I would love to see this idiot eat an entire jar of mayonnaise. And the fact that he is saying this means it's probably going to happen because he's literally wrong all the time. And so <laughs> I'm like counter trading his opinion. But there are a lot of... Um, people saying this, like Lark Davis, like Elio Trades, like a lot of the biggest names in the space who have some connections that I probably don't have, who are speaking to people that I probably don't know, are talking kind of the rumor mill is kind of going here already about a Bitcoin ETF in October. Actually, Bloomberg also published an article and, you, and we know Bloomberg, ugh, they're, they're pretty bad at their job. So who knows? But um, they're saying that a Bitcoin futures ETF is likely to be approved in October, according to this analyst. And I actually do think that this is likely. And here's why. Okay. I actually watch pretty much every time Gary Gensler talks. You guys know who Gary Gensler is? This guy. Gary Gensler. Oh, this guy. He's my favorite. Oh, he's such a good guy. He's an idiot. Okay. He's a complete idiot. Look at him. <laughs> every time this guy talks, I tend to watch 
because uh, he's the chairman of the SEC and he controls a lot of the regulations and all that stuff. And so one of the last Zoom calls he had, which was super boring and everything, but basically he said that he 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 would be an approval of a Bitcoin ETF as long as it was futures based, right? Not you know not the underlying, not whatever, but as long as it is a futures ETF. And and the difference between that you know is a little bit deep for this channel. I don't think you guys even care. Um, but basically. A futures ETF is going to give access to institutions who want to buy Bitcoin in a very quick and easy way. I don't think they care whether what type of ETF it is. As long as there is an ETF, this news is the biggest possible thing that is going to happen to Bitcoin. I'm telling you right now that this is going to pump trillions and trillions and tri billions and who said that Trump? Billions and billions, but this time trillions and trillions of dollars into the Bitcoin network, which means that all of these altcoins that are in this portfolio are gonna go absolutely bazonkers. Is that a word? Bajanga. I mean, Moon River is already up 12% today. Polkadex is looking strong today. All of these coins are basically designed to go down about, I've been watching this portfolio, guys. I'm getting a little off topic here, but I've been watching this and it's kind of weird because Bitcoin will go down like 5% in a day. This will go down like 8%, okay? The whole portfolio. And then Bitcoin will go up like 5% in a day and this thing will go up like 20%. <laughs> so you have you pretty much the same downside and then you have uh, insane upside. And I'm not saying, this is not financial advice, you know, things could go any which way. However, the way that it's working so far makes me very, very confident that as long as I just hold on to the coins in this portfolio, they're all listed here as well, I really do think this is gonna do a three to five X, probably a five to 10 X in the next three months. And that's where I'm sitting. So you guys can see everything that I'm holding and I'm just being straight up transparent with you. I hope that's cool. But I do think a Bitcoin ETF is coming before the end of the year and that is just rocket fuel for Bitcoin. There's no denying it. The next one, number two, you guys ready for number two? Number two biggest news that I think will catapult us to 100K is when and if Elon Musk come back, comes back and accepts Bitcoin for uh, Tesla's again, okay? Because here's what happened, guys. I, I, first, let's come back to this in a second. I wrote this tweet the other day, and I think this summarizes it perfectly, right? It says, hey, Elon Musk, now would be an amazing time to start accepting Bitcoin again. It doesn't matter that no one will buy a Tesla with it. The Twitter tipping news is a thousand X more important. <laughs> Seriously, no one is gonna buy a Tesla with this coin. And this Twitter news that you can literally send Bitcoin anywhere in the world to anyone with a Twitter account is way more important than this Tesla stuff. Like no one's gonna buy a Tesla with Bitcoin, but they are actually going to send money on Twitter like and, and destroy Western Union. Like this is way more important. However, the market seems to like whatever your grubby little fingers tweet, Elon. So let's get to tweeting, right? Isn't that so true? Like that is the most true tweet I've ever tweeted. And so Elon actually just broke up with his girlfriend the other day. He's probably feeling a little emotional. He's probably feeling like, oh, I'm Elon Musk and I need some more attention. Ah! And so he's probably gonna start tweeting about Bitcoin again. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but he's been really quiet about Bitcoin lately, about crypto lately. He hasn't tweeted Jack Diddley Squat, and I think it's time for him to turn up the tweeter train and start tweeting some stuff. And so when he does this, guys, you know it's gonna go insane. Like back here, this is back, okay, so he tweeted, as you can see here, you can now buy a Tesla with a Bitcoin. This was on March 24th, 2021. Okay, March 24th, 2021. Now, if we go to March 24th on the chart right here, you can see that we went all the way from 51, we were about to go down. We were at like 51,000, we went all the way up to all time highs at 64,000, okay? That was just on tweeting that Tesla was gonna accept Bitcoin and that was like, I don't know, a month later. Now imagine what happens when they re-accept it, when all of the, the worries that made them not accept it, the energy, <laughs> Bitcoin consumes too much energy, what happens when they when they uh, say, oh, it's all it's all good now. Bitcoin is uh, is much more energy efficient and everything's good. That is going to be huge news, guys. I can't even stress to you enough how huge this is. I don't understand why people, when they are looking at crypto, when they are looking at the red days, and they they're like, oh my god, my coin is down one percent. They they don't think about all of the events that could happen in the future that are good. Okay, there's a lot of bad events, sure, but a lot of those are behind us. China banned it 50 times. The, all the regulations and stuff are pretty clear. Everything is pretty clear about what the bad stuff, right? But the good stuff is all unknown and unclear. And if any of this stuff, an ETF, Tesla, if it, any one of these two things will, will get us over 64K, I guarantee you. If this happened today, if they said we have a Bitcoin ETF and it happened today, we would go from $43,000 to $64,000 within a week, I guarantee you. Tesla, same exact thing. We would be above all time highs within a week or two. And this is only my first two things, guys. These things are insanely, insanely bullish events that I think are probably going to happen, okay? And so, and that doesn't even account for the fact when Elon bought Bitcoin down here. Like they bought Bitcoin here and they went up 
to fucking here, okay? And so, last one, okay? The last one that I think is a huge event that is coming is institutions, random institutions that we cannot predict that have been buying the dip. They have been buying Bitcoin, okay? And so this is from Will Clemente. I love Will, he's a beast. For a while, I thought the claims about institutions being in the pipeline may have been stretching the truth. I've been working at a Bitcoin company for almost two months now and I can confirm that these claims are true. Data has been showing that large buyers are coming in since mid-July. Maybe there's a reason why I'm so bullish for the coming months. Guys, I think Will knows something. I think a lot of people know something who are in the know about these things. They know that this chart was literally the perfect, perfect time to buy Bitcoin for all of these slow ass institutions that, that couldn't figure out how to do it. How do I buy a coin? How do I buy a digital coin that's on the internet and on the web? I'm a, my name is Walmart and all I sell is, is like little pencils to children. How do I do it? And, and then they're like, oh, I figured it out right here. And they figured it out right here. And they started buying. And then they more more institutions started buying. And more institutions started buying. I mean, guys, if they, if they didn't buy here, they ain't going to buy. So we are going to figure out in quarter three, very soon when they release their quarter three earnings, which institutions ended up pulling the trigger and buying Bitcoin on the dip. It couldn't have been a better opportunity. And I just want to think about just because, again, no one seems to think about the repercussions of a buy like this. Okay, they're like, oh, we're never going to 64K ever again. This is what happened when there was fake news. Remember this, guys? Remember when uh, oh, I don't even have it pulled up. Yeah, I don't. Remember when Litecoin, remember when Walmart and Litecoin, Walmart was like, we're going to accept Litecoin. And then 10 seconds later, they were like, no, we're not going to accept Litecoin. Like it was all a scam, right? But that was just a fake announcement about a coin, right? Okay. So it was on September 13th. I pulled this up on CoinMarketCap. Look at this. Okay. We were at $44,000. Okay. And then we went up to $46,000 on Bitcoin. Think about this guys. Stop and think about this. 43,000. 44,000 to 46,300, $2,000 move in like 10 minutes on Bitcoin when the event was about Litecoin and it was fake. Oh my gosh, it was fake. Okay, okay. So a fake news about Litecoin can move the Bitcoin price $2,000 in 10 minutes. What the hell do you think is gonna happen when Walmart buys Bitcoin? When any of the, oh, when any of these companies, when Amazon puts it on its balance sheet, what do you think would happen? Uh, <laughs> When Netflix buys it, when Walt Disney buys it, when McDonald's buys it, when PayPal, when JP Morgan, Bank of America, do you see these companies? Any of these people could buy it anytime. And none of us would know. We would have no idea. All the billionaires would know. All the billionaires knew they were buying it down here, which is why they were buying it. And then it's just going to go bazir absolutely bonkers insane, guys. What I've noticed about this Bitcoin chart lately is that people are kind of insane. Like they, they, they don't really uh, take their time, okay? So like, let's say they see a good signal happen, right? They're like, oh, you know, we should buy here on the Lux Algo. They're not waiting, this is an hourly chart, right? They're not waiting like, I don't know, like 60 years to buy it. They're like, I'm gonna buy it right now. Everyone's like that these days. Like the internet is moving. I've noticed that everyone has like a, the attention span of a squirrel these days. They're so ready to go. Like, like someone will tweet. I've been, I've been a part of this stuff. Like, like let's go. Can I even pull up the D race chart? I just want to pull it up real quick. Like D race. Okay. D race, uh, coin. Let me pull it up. Actually, oh my gosh. I'm doing this live. I'm very scared. I'm very scared. <laughs> I just want to show you guys something. Okay. Because like, this is what's happening. Okay. People are figuring stuff out, okay? If you go to the D-Race chart, this is my one of my, this is literally my top holding my favorite coin. This happened the other day, okay? Like the coin just accidentally plunged down to like 70 cents. Something went wrong with the exchange, right? Can you see this? And then someone tweeted it out, like Becker tweeted it, a couple few people tweeted it, and it, people instantly just bought it all. Just bought it all instantly. They weren't like waiting. They weren't like, oh, what do I do? How do I move my money around? Where do I get my money from the exchange to the, the people know, okay? People know how to do stuff now. They know how to do it on their phones. They know how to do it on their computer. They know how to do it fast, okay? And so everything is gonna happen way, way faster than it has been happening. So if one of these companies buys it, their reaction time is going to be even quicker than when Elon bought it back in March, okay? People are ready now. They're waiting. So the second that any company buys Bitcoin, it is going to be a monstrous push of momentum that is gonna push us back above all time highs. Then we're gonna go parabolic and we're gonna go to 100K. So like I said before, any one of these three events, ETF, Tesla, or any company buying Bitcoin, we are going above 100K. Imagine if we get two. Imagine if we get three of these events, okay? And then the last thing I wanna say is why wouldn't they do it? Why wouldn't they? Look at just the perfect example. Like if I was, 
I'm a, I'm a good business owner, right? And my company actually bought Bitcoin and put it on our balance sheet way back when Bitcoin was like $30,000. It was a great decision, right? And to be very honest with you guys, I'm a small company, a small fish. Like I wasn't able to actually, compared to these guys, right? I wasn't able to like do anything crazy, right? But it, imagine if you had a pretty decent sized company, like a billion dollar company, right? You, and you looked at Michael, Michael Saylor. Oh my God. This is the perfect chance to be to just get rich like it's too tempting why aren't more people doing this I, I have no idea okay so when michael saylor started buying bitcoin he had like 100 followers he had like zero followers he has a 1.5 million twitter followers that is pretty valuable and especially for ceos who like to like feel good about you know who they are and, and, and they, he probably loves this his influence now is so incredible right huge influence let's not even talk about the fact that his bitcoin holdings have doubled have tripled at one point. So he's tripled his money on Bitcoin, okay? And his company, look at his company. When he started buying Bitcoin down here, late in, in October 20, look at this, he was worth, a, it was $130 a share, $130. At the peak, when Bitcoin was up at all time highs, it was at a thousand, it was at a thousand. He 10 x his company and he didn't, guys, I just wanna stress this, I just wanna, ugh. He didn't even do anything different. He didn't have to do anything hard. You know what's hard when you start a business? What's hard is hiring new people, having a new marketing strategy, building a new product, launching it to the right people, having product to market fit, making sure that your product sells. That's what's hard. Running a business is hard. You know what's not hard? Buying a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. You hit one button and then you tweet about it. That's not difficult. And that's all he had to do to 10X the value of his company. I believe it's gonna go back there once Bitcoin goes all time highs. It's still at 6X. It's still at 6X right now, okay? So why wouldn't other companies do this? I have no, it, it's so confusing to me. They must just be so slow. They must have their board meetings like, hey, I'm old. How, what's Bitcoin again? Is that the like scam coin that people use for, for, um, for, for money laundering? Because they don't want that. I mean, that's probably what's happening. I think the only reason that he was able to do this is because he has so much control over his company. But be, do not be mistaken, guys. Other micro strategies are coming, okay? And I know this because I'm a CEO. If it was me, I would do this. Like, why wouldn't you, oh, I made my, my business is making 30 million a year, but uh, we can make 6 billion in the next year if we just buy Bitcoin and tweet about it. Yeah, no shit. I'm gonna buy some Bitcoin. So, sorry guys, I, I can't just stress this enough. The game theory behind this basically guarantees, guarantees that there are 10, 20, 50 micro strategies working on this strategy in the background, okay? And not to mention countries, not to mention all of it. And I just like, even Pentoshi is like, like it's happening guys. Remember when I tweeted at the bottom, a country adopted it, two major banks said they're offering it. Chase and Wells Fargo mean the rest will. Twitter is adopting it, ETFs are coming, the rest of institutions want it, but the bearers don't believe can you guys see this oh my gosh you can't even see what i'm saying the bearers don't believe <laughs> guys i don't know what else to say if you're not in this portfolio you're smoking crack if you're not following me on twitter you're smoking crack i'm all over this shit everything that i say comes true i'm a genius i'm per perfect at all my predictions and i'm probably the best youtube channel on the planet earth so that's all i have to say i just wanted to brag at the end god i'm so good at this i love you guys bye